on that, travelers. Now, uh, the rest of this video, or a lot of it you're gonna see, takes place before this. I forgot to film the intro, but I'm doing a mountain coaster marathon. I wanna hit every single mountain coaster that I can find in the Pigeon Forge Gatlinburg area. So, without further ado, let's get started. So one of my goals for this trip was to do as many of the mountain coasters up here as I could. So, saw this driving by, might as well start with the Ripley's Mountain Coaster, right? Let's get it. So I'll say Ripley's Mountain Coaster, it's a little odd that I can only do this by purchasing two rides. What if I just wanted to ride it once? Whatever, here we go. Okay, let's go boys. Whoa. I may have to slow down for this lady in front of me here. Time. All right. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. Ripley's Mountain Coaster is solid. Uh, I still think it's a little silly that you can only do it twice. There is no option to just buy a single ride. You have to pay 30 bucks to ride it twice. Which, let's all be honest, at the end of the day is a way to make more money. I mean, it is what it is. And it is a fun ride, so whatever. But, you know, just my two cents. It is fun though. Let's, uh, let's move on. All right, so literally like a half mile down the road from the Ripley's Coaster, is the Moonshine Mountain Coaster. So, why not? Let's get it. Let me tell you, my bad knee is loving all of these stairs. Oh boy, ow. <laughs> all right, let's see uh, how the Moonshine Mountain Coaster fares against Ripley's. Here we go. Let's see what you got, Moonshine Mountain Coaster. The lit track is actually very neat. I'm very into that. Okay, not bad. So like I said, it's not as fast, but it feels like it has more G-force. Uh, and they had pins. You all know how much I love pins. So uh, let's go figure out something else to do. Maybe another mountain coaster. God knows there's a ton of them up here. Well, you might have guessed, time for another mountain coaster. This time, it's the Rocky Top Mountain Coaster, which, according to a lot of people I've talked to, is the best one up here, so we'll see. 
Let's see what you've got to offer me, Rocky Top Mountain Coaster. Here we go. All right, Rocky Mountain. Mountain Coaster. Rocky Top? Rocky Mountain? I don't, Rocky Top, yes. Okay, it looks sick. I'll show you, here we go. Riding the Rocky Top Mountain Coaster. You're Push welcome. your handles forward now. Here we go. Oh, it's got headlights. I wonder if they all do. I've never done one at night before. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. There might be a lot more to this. Woo! Yeah! This one's good. Okay. Slowed me down by default. I don't know how I feel about the uh, the magnetic slowdowns that are not an option, but I suppose they know better about the design than I do. Oh, another lift hill. Okay. Interesting. Push your handles to go fast. The bears are coming. He sounded really enthused about the bears. The bears. All right. Here we go. Another forced slowdown to yet another lift hill. Very interesting. My only complaint about this one so far is you can't really get into it before it stops again. I hear frogs in that pond. Yes, I hear you, Mr. Frog. Oh, I think I saw him on a rock, too. Big old boy. RTMC. Oh, very close to RMC. European bears. It almost reads like European. <laughs> I'm a child. All right. I mean, visually, this one is definitely the coolest. I just... It's weird that it stops you every couple of seconds. I do enjoy the theming at least there's that if there were no theming here this would be bizarrely broken up and slow but the theming definitely helps alright round three I guess I do like the headlight popping on. That's kind of neat. And into the enchanted forest. Woo, yeah. Come on. Straight away. Goodness, how many slowdowns are here? Yeah, man, how's it going? <laughs> here we 
go again. Ho uh ho! Let's go, boys! Drift track! Drift track! Tokyo drift! Let's go! And that appears to be it. All right, catch you in a minute. Okay, so as far as theming goes, that's number one, no question. But not only is it eight minutes long, which is, you know, would be great if it were eight minutes of action, but it's like two to three minutes of coaster and like seven minutes of lift hills. And I'm gonna be straight with you, I'm not, I'm not big on that. But the theming is immaculate, at least for a mountain coaster. The tunnels are really cool. The parts that are moving are cool, but it's just, it's weirdly broken up. You can't really get into it. I don't know. I'd do it again, no question. It's fun for sure. Just interesting. The layout is interesting, but overall positive. I like it. All right, so continuing the theme of the evening, we are now at the Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster. And I'll tell you right now, this one might be the coolest looking. Check this out. I mean, it looks like it goes way up there. Let's give her a ride. This one definitely appears to be the most popular in town, at least tonight. Wow. All right, you can hardly see me. Some of the lights go by, but Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster. Here we go. Oh, that's no question the steepest lift hill I've been on on one of these. Cool. Looking promising, boys and girls and whoever else. Sorry for the shake. Here we go. Please push your handles forward now. Yeah! God, these are better at night. Whoa! Oh, these are so intense in the dark, man. Tunnel time. Yeah! Drift track. Always with the drift track. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that's a long helix. Wow. A lot of helices in this one. Zippy too. So many helices. Or helixes. I don't know what the proper word is. It feels like it would be helices. Drift track, always the drift track. And 
and that's it. Oh, well, that wasn't nearly as long. Okay, check in a minute. Please keep your handles down until the end. So, the lighting on that one, A+. Plus. But they said seven to eight minutes in line. No. Once you're at the top of the hill, it's over in like two or three minutes. But at least it didn't stop constantly, so that was good. And uh, it's a pretty good ride. Uh, I gotta think about which one I like the best. There's apparently a few more here, but they've all closed for the night, so I'll probably hit them in the morning and just tack them onto the end of this video. So, until then, wipe this bizarrely longer than all of my other hair, tuft of hair out of my face. I'll see you tomorrow for the ones that I missed and uh, we'll wrap this little mountain coaster marathon up. And we are back. It is the next day and I am now at the Goat Coaster at Goats on the Roof in Pigeon Forge. Uh, let's give this one a shot and see how it compares to the others. We are on the Goat Coaster, headed up. See how this one does. I'm almost done with my coaster marathon here. And here we go on the Goat Coaster. Whoa, that's the best start so far, no question. Wow! Oh yeah, this one's great. This one's real good. Whoa! Hachi machi! The goat got some grit, y'all. Good track. Goodness, this one drifts quite a bit. He looks done. Whoa. Track is like inverted just a little bit back there. Wow. Yeah, this one might be my favorite, y'all. All right. Uh, just as an actual coaster, I think that one is definitely my favorite so far. That one felt more thrilling than the other ones. I don't think it was as fast as some of them, but it, the way out is better. It feels more thrilling. On to the last park. Pretty sure I'm getting a little sunburn out here. So, we are on our final contender in the traditional mountain coaster category. This is the Wild Stallion Mountain Coaster here at Skyland Ranch. Uh, this one's pretty impressive visually. Let's see what it's got to offer us coaster-wise. See you in a sec. really high up though holy crap that's a beautiful view best view so far but to be fair i did the other ones at night all right here we go okay oh this is neat oh, yeah, this one has a huge footprint drift track tokyo drift Whoa, yeah, okay. Making my way downtown. And that's it. All right, short, but so, oh wait, that's not it. Check it out. All right, just cutting back in after that second lift hill here. Didn't want there to be too much dead air. And away we go. Yeah. Oh, this is kind of cool. Little snaky straightaway. Well, not a straightaway. Okay. Man, 
headed back down into Pigeon Forge. Final mountain coaster helix. And that'll do it. So, travelers, that will do it for our tour of all of the Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg mountain coasters, the traditional ones at least. I did do the ski lift shootout and the powered one at Rowdy Bear Park. It's in another video, you'll see it. But as far as the traditionals go, I think my top three. Number one, probably Goat Coaster. Just overall, everything was best for me. Number two is this guy. It's short, but it's really good. The, the view is beautiful. Layout's cool. The little zigzaggy straightaway part is awesome. And third, purely for the speed of it, I think it, I could be wrong, but I'm guessing it's the fastest, would be Ripley's. Now, they're all great. They're all a fun time and worth your time. The only one that I have any sort of complaint about, really, is uh, I think it was the uh, Smoky Mountain one that had, like, 100,000 lift hills. I could be remembering the wrong one, but one of the other ones, and you'll see in this video, you can go back and look, had like four lift hills in it. And I said the ride parts were fantastic, but the tension just kept getting broken up by these lift hills. And, you know, they're a feat of engineering, so nobody can complain too much, but that would be the only thing I would say. Still, even that is a great ride. But uh, that'll do it for the mountain coasters. Now I've ridden every single one up here. So... With that being said, until we meet again, travelers, Godspeed.